This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Ford F550 Crew Cab. Uh, it is a 6.0 turbo diesel. It's two-wheel drive. It's an XL, which is uh, basically vinyl floors, vinyl seat, etc. Uh, automatic. This truck has 82,591 miles on it. Obviously, it's got a utility bed, dual rear wheel. Um, this truck was uh, purchased directly from a uh, uh, electrical uh, uh, oil company, energy company in Texas. Comes out of uh, Houston, Texas. And we knew going into it that uh, because we paid very little for it, that uh, it probably had a problem, and it did. When it showed up, it had a real bad miss, and we decided that the best way to go would be to put a new motor in it. Uh, so it's not a new motor we bought a used motor it has uh, 90,000 miles on it and before we did that uh, before we installed it we also put a uh, bulletproof EGR cooler and a Ford oil cooler on it uh, so now you've got the uh, EGR issue dealt with and you've got a 90,000 mile motor with an EGR issue handle okay um, when we bring them here we do an inspection it looks like this I got my little cheat sheets over here we put a uh, 90,000 mile U 6L motor in it, bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, Rotella oil and filter, obviously with the uh, engine. Uh, coolant is new, gaskets and tube kit, front and rear brake pads, transmission service. We changed out a, a transmission solenoid uh, and it got a water pump and thermostat. So it had a lot uh, taken care of. Uh, <laughs> so it runs really, really well and it's been bulletproofed. I'm gonna walk around to show you what's going on with this truck. Uh, I'll just kind of point at stuff that I see, and when you look at the pictures of the gallery, um, you can zoom in using the little magnifying glass and see it even closer. It's pretty similar to putting your face right up against the car, clicking on that magnifying glass. Um, obviously, nobody's buying this truck for uh, cosmetics, but the second I don't point something out or we miss something, somebody's gonna be mad and so we don't do that and we try to make sure that everyone buys and gets what they what they thought they were getting and thought they were buying we didn't do the interior the seats have big tears in them we figured it's gonna be a work truck so no one cares about that stuff if you want to obviously you just get a seat cover and put it over the seats uh, you know at AutoZone or Checker Auto Parts or whatever it is in your city if you care but uh, it's going to be a work truck, obviously, and somebody's going to uh, be rough with it. And the seat will probably get torn up again in a couple thousand miles. So that's why we did that. Plus, we don't want to add to the price. We want to keep the price reasonable. You've got, you've got a uh, clear title, low mile, 6.0 truck. This thing had some sort of like a weird, weird uh, generator system set up here. And then it, on over here, it had like a hose reel like a I don't know I don't even know what it was like a gas pump reel it's kind of interesting I haven't seen that before uh, but the gas pump deal we would have left it on there but it was bent really badly and probably not functional again you'll see uh, in, our, in our ad you'll see four pictures of it before it left Texas and I think maybe you'll see that thing sitting in the back it was kind of laying on its side. Somebody had removed it, and I think they broke the mouse when they removed it. That's why they left it. I think they were gonna keep it until they broke it. This tailgate does come down. We have a bolt in it right here just to keep it, keep it up. Got a fifth wheel hitch. Probably held some uh, gas tanks in here. front tires look like they're probably 70 or 80 percent tread the rears look like they're maybe 10 or 20 percent tread so I would, if, if you bought it I would say go get some uh, tires to match the fronts and only buy four instead of six
This tent, we just told the detail shop to keep it on. They charge us a little more to take it off, and who knows? I doubt the people who, the person who buys this truck is going to care about that, but if you do, get out a uh, razor blade and take it off. We have a little more information. There's another tear on this side. Um, it was a one owner. See in Houston. I'm not sure what they did to screw this up because they took really good care of it. Um, most likely they backed it into some water and sucked it in or who knows but based on the the service it got somebody did something really stupid maybe they put gas in it which is probably what they did the more I think about it I bet they I bet they ran gas in it and then they went oh no and they put diesel in it which is why it kind of half ass ran because this is too low miles for that problem even with the EGRs it's just uh, with those with those uh, see was center point energy. And there's our title now. There were just uh, too many good services there to uh, have to have a problem like that unless it was uh, self-inflicted. There's your miles, eighty-two thousand five ninety-seven. It doesn't take much gasoline to do that. All right, we're gonna look for Ford stamps. There's the Ford stamp there. No blow by at all. Very good. Normally a little bit, but not today. There's the Ford stamp there. There's the Ford stamp right, right there. And there's the Ford stamp. I'll show you those Ford stamps because that'll tell you that uh, all the front end parts are original. If you don't see the Ford stamps, you know somebody's replaced something. Let me show you underneath this thing. This is a work truck. No tilt, no cruise. It's got air conditioning, it's got an automatic. It's got a very expensive utility bed on it. It's got a bulletproof EGR motor. <laughs> that doesn't even work. The seat button doesn't work. So you gotta do it manually. Tax returns and steal your work. There you go. Uh, let's see, air. Open the vents here. Air is blowing cold. And it's working on all the settings. There you go. There's tow haul. On, on, and off. On, and off. There you go. There's your tow stuff. Of course, when you do that, it says check the trailer because it's freaking out because there isn't one there all right go through all that of course the engine hours are not the same now are they there it is all right we're gonna go for a ride this truck is on a clear title so if you come to Tucson and drive it home which you're welcome to do um, you're going to pay tax and dock fees uh, dock fee is $250 and taxes are 2% city sales tax plus whatever your state tax rate is so if your state tax rate is 4%, you'll pay 6%. Basically, if you're gonna come here and drive it home, add 2% to your state tax rate, and then add $250, and you'll know what you're paying. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. Uh, no extras, uh, dock fees or anything. Once you receive your wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name, and we'll notarize it, sign it off to you, scan it into your online file, you'll be able to see it immediately. What the, title looks like signed off to you and then we'll mail it to you and once the truck gets delivered to you once you have it shipped to your house or your business um, you'll take the title you got in the mail and go get a place for it yourself um, that's if you pay by wire and ship um, deposit 
Deposit is five hundred dollars. Once we receive your deposit, we will put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com, and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it is for sale. So uh, please make sure once we have agreed upon price and go through the negotiating process, get the uh, get the deposit in because inevitably, if you delay and wait to get home to do it, once your you know wife or husband is you know gets informed, uh, you'll get online, you'll find out somebody's already bought and paid for it. Okay. So, once you start this thing, make sure that you're ready to make a deposit. Uh, if you're serious, if you're not serious, please don't put make offers, okay? It's, uh, it's a lot of work and back and forth to come up with the, this stuff. And, and uh, we'd appreciate it if you didn't make offers. If you're not serious, then you're going to put a deposit in, okay? Warranty. Well, obviously, there's no warranty on a 2005 uh, Ford. Uh, the people who built it gave it X amount of miles and X amount of years for a reason. Uh, they didn't know what would happen after that. If they didn't know what would happen after that, uh, then... Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. If they didn't know what would happen, uh, then they would have given it a longer warranty. Uh, they didn't know what would happen. Because they didn't know what would happen, they stopped it. And I think on this one was uh, five years and 60,000 miles. That was many years ago and, and a few miles ago, all right? Now, we did bulletproof this motor. It was a 90,000-mile used motor we got from a salvage yard here in town. Uh, but it doesn't mean it won't break. We didn't do the injectors, you know. Uh, you could get it, and the day you get it, it can need an injector. Um, fortunately, on Fords, it's really easy labor-wise to do injectors. Um, there's no sign of this needing one. The scans are great of it. Um, but you never know. Um, so basically what we tell people is, if you're not willing to take a little bit of risk, then don't buy our vehicles, don't buy any of them. Because there's risk involved in buying something used, whether it's this truck or it's a Lazy Boy recliner, okay? Uh, we know a lot about this vehicle because we've been in it and all over it, but it doesn't mean that we know what's gonna happen to it tomorrow, because we don't. Uh, people who say they have a perfect vehicle for sale are lying. <laughs> Nobody's got a perfect anything. There's not a perfect Lamborghini that's brand new, all right? <laughs> so if you need that security of knowing that everything will be all right the day you get it, um, go buy a new 6.7 in this case, which is what it would be, and uh, have warranty for a couple years, and everything will be good. And once the warranty's up, you'll still owe 20 or 30 grand on it. And uh, then you can start stressing again. You know, there's a there's a reason to buy used, and the reason you buy used is to save some money. Uh, the reason to buy used from us, especially 6.0, is we'll give you tons of information. Uh, the goal being to find the right person for this vehicle. It's not to uh, sell it to the first guy who sees it, okay? Uh, our goal is always to find the right person for the right vehicle and provide as much information as we can. And that way, it always happens and everyone's always happy and there's no drama, okay? So, please be realistic. You're not buying a perfect truck. We don't know what's going to happen to it uh, tomorrow. And uh, if it breaks, go get it fixed. Uh, the bottom line is we're not writing checks for this vehicle. We've told you what we've done. We told you what we know. And once you own it, you own it, okay? Uh, I think it's a hell of a truck though. Even running on this four-wheel drive road we have out here, uh, it did real well. wasn't you know, The bed wasn't rattling, and pretty nice truck. Anyway, thank you for your time.